This video is intended for audiences over the age of 13. If you are not 13 years or older, please click away from this video now. You have been warned. Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James, aka JP, back again with another Toy Room Review. And today we're taking a look at the Funko Pop Sleeping Beauty Castle and Mickey Mouse. And this is part of the Disneyland Resort 65th Anniversary Collection, which just hit Target, I want to say maybe a week, maybe two weeks ago. And these products are already going on clearance. So if your Target still has these, be sure to pick these up because you can get this one as well as some of the other ones for only $20 when they retailed at $30. So be on the lookout for that. Let's go ahead and get into the packaging. So the packaging is very nice and unique on here I love the whole vintage aesthetic it has going to it with this like just yellow tint to everything it looks very vintage and I really do like that obviously you have the big open window that fully displays the Funko Pop you can see the Disneyland 65th anniversary right down there which looks very nice and you have the little hints of fireworks as well going down there and then of course on top here you can see the the title and this is number 21 and coming to the side you get more of that yellowed vintage looking image and then you have fireworks over here and then the actual castle and done in like a little cartoon uh, diagram right there which looks really nice and then coming to the back this is really cool this almost looks like the map of Disneyland in a way so that's really nice and then you can see some of the other uh, figures from this line which is awesome I just really really love the packaging and even on the back you still have that vintage feel to it which is awesome you can see collect them all then coming to the side you get the exact same thing and on the top you get uh, the stuff we're normally used to seeing on Funko Pop so let me go ahead and get this out of the packaging and we'll take a closer right, detail guys and here is the Funko out of the packaging so honestly right off the bat this is such an amazing set they really could have just sold me the castle by itself and I would have just bought that I really didn't I really didn't pick the setup for Mickey I bought it more so for the castle but let's go ahead and put the castle to the side and we'll start by taking a look at Mickey so here is the Mickey Funko Pop and honestly it looks really nice, you know, it's just another typical Mickey Pop. The head is basically the same as we've seen before. It's got a little bit of a, a different design, a more retro look to it, but you have him in his little parade outfit right here. You can see the hat looks very nice, and it's just a pretty standard figure. You got the tail coming out right here on the back, and then, of course, the red and the little hints of yellow and whatnot look very nice, but, um, yeah, it's a solid figure, just not really one that I particularly care about. You know, like I said, I didn't really buy this set for this Mickey. I bought it for the castle, but still, overall, the details in there are very nice as you can see uh, the little hits of yellow and then yellow on here white on the gloves the figure is pretty basic but let's go ahead and move on from Mickey to the real star of the show and that's gonna be this castle right here Sleeping Beauty's castle I have to back the camera up just a little bit and change the angle because this thing is pretty big but there we go right there so overall I mean this thing is so amazing just it, it's massive first of all like Mickey is your standard Funko Pop at what is it like maybe three four inches tall so this castle probably is about a six inch figure or i guess figure because it's not an actual figure but this castle probably stands about six inches tall but it's just so cool not only is it tall it's nice and wide nice and hefty uh just has a nice weight to it doesn't feel hollow or anything like that and just looks absolutely amazing so Let's go ahead and just zoom in on some of these details right here. Uh, I will say right off the bat, I don't feel like the castle is as pink as it should be. Um, I know the castle is just a little bit more pink, and you can kind of see like hits of pink, but it looks, it just comes more so off gray than pink. And I'll put a picture of the uh, castle in real life right here on the screen, and as you can see, it just has a little bit more of a pink hue to it in person. Uh, to me, this one comes off looking more like Cinderella's castle at Disney World, but still, overall, I mean, it's just amazing. Look at all of the detail in here with the stones and everything like that. And you have the little door right here where the drawbridge would normally come down from. Oh man, just such good detail. This piece does look like it's tilted a little bit, but I guess it's supposed to look like that because it's not moving or anything. But you even have all the details in here, all throughout. Nice accents, and we'll move the camera up just a little bit. Man, just a really, really good looking piece, man. Just all the little details and, and crevices of, of places and just like all throughout here, you have little details and stuff. Just very, very cool. It would be nice if they made like some micro Funko Pops um, that actually like went with this set that you can kind of display some of the characters all throughout here. That would be really cool. And we'll move the camera up just a little bit. Again, you can see the top pieces right there. This is just so, so cool. You got the little flag. Uh, sculpt it like it's going in the wind which is awesome and then back here you can actually see a little bit of like uh, a stone I guess or part of like the cement right here on the back of the castle with some more of the doors and whatnot curtains right here 
Just very, very cool, man. This is such a good, good looking piece. One of my favorite pieces in my collection. When I saw this at Target when I was working the other day, I definitely had to pick this up because, I mean, this is just such an awesome piece as we go ahead and put that back there and we'll bring in Mickey and put Mickey right here. So obviously this isn't to scale or anything like that because Mickey already stands just about as tall as the castle does. But man, this is just such an awesome piece. And like I said, I really would have just picked this up if it was just the castle itself. Uh, I really didn't care for Mickey or really want him. It was more so about the castle and it's just awesome. You guys can't see but I have the biggest smile on my face right now. And this just leaves me wondering if they're going to do a Cinderella castle version uh, for Disney World because the 50th anniversary of Disney World is coming up October 1st, 2021. So a little under a year away at this point uh, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna do something for the 50th anniversary for Cinderella's castle and you know I'll have to pick that one up as well to go alongside this one so overall I mean this is so awesome really my only complaint is that uh, the castle doesn't look I guess as pink as it should look it just comes more so off gray than it does pink but other than that it's still a really really cool piece and definitely a must-have for anybody who is a Disney fan or just a Funko fan in general because this is just such a cool piece I'm not sure if we've seen any pieces like this from Funko that are like you know building pieces i could be wrong let me know down in the comments below uh but that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe share this video with your friends be sure to follow me on instagram that link's in the description down below and i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here so as always guys stay tuned for more and i'll see you guys next time